Good Monday morning. It's good to be with you, Vital Men. Today we're going to do a two-part teaching series again. We've done that before in the past, but I think this is really, really important. And I know that Father's Day was yesterday. But we're going to do a two-part teaching on what does it mean to be a manly father. You know, one of my favorite movies that I really, really enjoy watching is Secondhand Lions. And in that movie, Robert Duvall shares what it means to be a man. And I'm going to read a portion of that, and then we're going to talk about that a little bit, how that means to take it to the next step and to be a man of God. He says this. He says that people are basically good. That honor, courage, and virtue mean everything. That power and money, and money and power mean nothing. That good always triumphs over evil. And I want you to remember this, that love, true love, never dies. Remember that. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. A man should believe in those things because those things are the things worth believing in. Then he says, got it? This is what every boy needs to know in becoming a man. I think that's so important and we get a glimpse of, of what it means to step into manhood and also too to be a man of God and how that looks in our society today. So I'm going to break the six things down that Robert Duvall shared with us and use it in a way that is in a biblical principle that helps us to understand what it means to be a man who does things in the right manner of being a man of God and how he leads his family. Number one is this honor. It says to be honorable has to do with people and actions that are honest and fair. They believe in truth and doing the right thing. Man, isn't that so true? Romans 12, 10 says this, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. Men, honor is something that is so important for us today to realize to be a man of God, to be a man of honor. To do what you're going to do, not just say it, but to step into the action of what you're going to say and do it. Do it with your wife, do it with your family. For some of us that have grandkids, follow through and be a man of honor. Number two, this is a good one. Courage. Joshua 1.9 says this, this is my command, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua was an extremely great man of courage. He lived it. He had an incredible leader, an incredible mentor in his life, which was Moses, which was now past. He is now gone. He is now with the Lord. Now it's Joshua's time. He's 80 years old, men. When he steps into the leadership that God says him, and I, I love this part. God gives a command to be a man of strength and courage. I am with you. And I go with you wherever you go. Man, that same principle still works for us today. If you truly want to be a man of courage, remember that your courage comes from above. It doesn't come to something within yourself that you can simply muster. Yes, I, I believe there's moments of mustering, but the true courage that we truly have in our lives comes from God himself. And I encourage you to pray for that. The next one is number three. Virtue. Virtue is the quality of being morally good. The word virtue itself comes from the Latin word meaning manliness of virtue. Second Peter 1.5 put it this way. Now for this very reason, also applying all diligence in your faith, supply moral excellence, and in your moral excellence, knowledge. Being men of virtue. Being men who are morally Good. Man, that is, there is a great gap in that today. What it means to have virtue and to be morally good. God is looking and calling out those men today. I believe there's no greater gap in time that we've ever experienced of the loss of what it means to be a man of God than the loss of manhood than now. I believe that we are going to see some incredible things in the days ahead. Well, yes, Promise Keepers was a time in which things were really going well. In America, but in 1996 97, it fell through. It lost its momentum. I think they lost their direction. But today, I believe that God is trying to raise an army of men. Men, will you be that? Will vital men, will you choose today to be a man of God? 
who, who has honor, who has courage, and has virtue. Next week, we're going to talk about three more of those things that I believe that will help us into being manliness and being men of God. I hope you had a great Father's Day. See you next week.